Hey, what's going on everyone? This is a bit of deeper channel lore, but for every Enrage boss that's ever been released into RuneScape, um, for the kills that are associated with a title, so let's say 500% Telos for the Warden title, or 500% or 2000% Archglacer for the Iceborne title, we've always traditionally gone and achieved that title with no food. It's kind of a fun little added challenge, and it's also a way to say, yeah, I didn't get lucky, I knew how to do the boss and I completed it properly. The same thing applies to the Zamrock boss fight, but there's one fairly significant difference between the Zamrock boss fight and every other boss in the game, which is that Zami greatly nerfs your defensive abilities, and it's a boss where you take an absolute ton of damage. As always, I solo pushed up to 500% rage, and for that title kill, we're going in with no food. You'll see the first six phases playing in the background. I figured we'd speed them up and kind of blitz through them a little bit, but I did show the final phase sort of in, in real time so you can see the live sort of planning and idea and thought process behind it. I'm probably going to do a proper talk through this boss fight at some point because I know a lot of people are struggling with, with certain different phases and it is quite a complicated boss. But in the meantime, I did want to share this achievement. I, I thought it was quite fun. I think the primary source of healing for the majority of the boss fight, especially, you know, the main bulk of it, the first six phases, you're effectively just healing with soul split flicks and blood spells as well as dark form. So you'll notice I end up switching spells between Insight Fear, where I get my stacks for Tsunami to cost less adrenaline, and then as soon as I've casted my Tsunami, I generally go right back to blood spells, and that's a really good way to keep my HP very, very high with no healing at all. I'm also going to briefly talk about my Edict Order, obviously you can see it on screen, but what I've been enjoying in my solo kills is going 2, 4, 6, and then 1, 3, 5, and it seems to work relatively well, sort of a way to maximize the effectiveness of your defensive abilities on the final phase. Because when you charge up an Edict, it gets stronger and stronger each phase as the boss fight continues, which is really cool, and it's a really interesting way to be able to cater the boss fight to, you know, offense or defense or survivability, depending on your preference. You kind of have to pick your poison with which defense buff is going to be, you know, the least annoying or the least problematic for your particular playstyle. I think that's really cool. The only problem is for phase seven, which is by far the most complicated or the most difficult phase of the boss fight, whatever edict order you've chosen in the first six phases completely switches. So if you have one stack of, say, disintegrate after phase six ends, you'll end up with a max six stacks of disintegrate as soon as phase seven starts, which makes it really tough because you can basically either choose between a very pleasant first six phases and a terrible phase seven or the opposite you can go through a world of pain in the first six phases and then have a nice clean easy phase seven either way this is a really fun little achievement that i wanted to share with you guys i'm not going to say it was incredibly difficult we did end up first trying it so it wasn't completely rocket science but i also thought it was interesting as well because our final phase was not done in a one cycle i think a lot of players are approaching it like a dps check and it isn't necessarily as much of a DPS check as, as people might think, because there is a way to get through the amount of damage you're taking, just survive, and then restart, and you can kind of whittle away at the life points too. I'm not going to say that's an advisable strategy, but especially if you're struggling with damage output, there are ways to get through it without just blitzing it in a couple seconds. Okay, with our final Edict charge up, let's switch over back to the live comms. I don't like my HP here. Um, I think I need to Omni. Yeah, I definitely do. Okay, stick first. B second. Okay, the B is good. The stick is is not good. Okay, because now we've got a 12k hit. And I have 6k life points. Means melee prey. We're okay. For now. Croesus Death Wars. Oh, I'm being hit too much. Two cycles, okay. We've got him work. Two cycles, fine. Okay, so now we just need to kill the demon. And we're actually gonna close this out. Yeah, that's okay. So it's a star first. Just gonna kill the demon here. And then it's actually the furthest one. Crazy.
Yeah, that definitely gets the heart rate going a little bit there. But we're good. That is 500% enraged done with no food. And we got the title. Wrath of Chaos. We take those. Yeah, that got a little dicey at the end. I'm not going to lie. But uh, just because we missed the one cycle, we kind of had a bad order. But uh, yeah, I, I think we take that out really well. I think the, the big part of it is just... It's kind of mental math of how many defensives do you need to tank the big hit, and then after that, you're good. So let's try and get out of combat here. And uh, yeah, that, that feels really good. I'm glad we got that. There we go. 